mwela wetu unjani na mlanje ndia fuyu kubanawe mnake jingu african kaza asmr tisube ndingu mnibisi wako wizimali na mlanje wena unga lala panzi upole usole kuonge kuwamba kakuli kabina kalava ok before we get started i will need your personal details ok pamgo kubazikali seke tisa kutinga ingu kata zako kankalele ingu kata zako masikali nge kama your name please ok Okay, so I like my paper. 
Pogba ehlala eqhuno wazalwa dada ke then go dada ke swelekile uye wahamba uhlale emqhekezweni yathana ngwana ephinda eqhuno waphindela eqhuno ke and then go kuba ephumile entulongweni waphindela eqhuno wakhe umzi omhle kakhulu omkhulu kwaba eqhuno nsekile bangu kulomzi wakhe sihlala abantwana bakhe so what can you do with the theft rand in South Africa? What can you get for 50 rands? You can get a loaf of bread with butter for 50 rands. A loaf of bread and a small butter. Just, just a small butter. You can even buy milk with 50 rands and get change. Bread costs 12 rands. So you can get bread. Butter costs 20 something rands. So you can even get bad butter as well. And so does milk cost 20 something rand so if you buy butter butter can get change if you buy milk you also have change And then you 
saw the rhino in the ten rats. What do you think we have in the hundred rats? The big five is the lion, the elephant, the African buffalo, uh, the leopard, show you the hundred rand has the African buffalo the African buffalo the big five is the lion we saw the lion in the other note which was it 50 rand we saw the lion in the 50 rand and then we saw the the what else did we see? We saw the rhino in the ten rands. Okay, and then um, you see the African um, buffalo in this hundred rand in the the leopard as well as.
or maybe two lollipops if they cost one rand each. Okay, great. I hope you get it. I hope you get it. So yeah. So what can you get with a hundred rands? You can buy um, 20 cages of rice. It depends on the brand that you're buying. If you go to boxers to superstore, you can afford to buy rice. It's going to be roughly around this amount of money, depending on the brand you're buying and the specials, of course. You can buy cooking oil and buy bread. I'm just thinking what else can you get? You can go to um, um, a small shop and get um, a full meal for 100 rands. It depends on what you're buying. You can go to KFC and buy Streetwise 3 and, you know, a drink on the side and get change with 100 rands. That's what you can do. So, in small towns, when you want to rent, you can rent for the cheapest you can afford is 1,000 rands. I mean, they are cheaper ones, but I'm just going in terms of average. You would need 1,000 rand to rent an apartment um, in a small town. Sometimes you can get change for that, but in big towns or cities, not a thousand rands unless you go to like places far away from town. So you can get an apartment for a thousand rands, which means you would need hundred of these or one hundred dollars in America. Okay, all right. If you are in Japan, um, and you're renting an apartment, some apartments would, you know, if you are living in a reasonable place that's still a big city or something like that, but, you know, a nice place that's still affordable would be 25,000 yen. You're like, 25,000 yen, that's a lot of money. But if you're converting it to South African, Rands, that would be 2,500 Rand, which means in Japan you are renting for 25,000 Japanese yen, but in South Africa you're renting for 2.5 thousand Rands. If you have 25,000 yen in Japan, that means you have 2,000 500 rands in South Africa. What you can do for 25,000 yen in Japan is what you can do for 2,500 rands in South Africa. So if you're American, you're still like, what? That's still a lot of money. 25,000 yen in Japan. In South Africa, you have 2.5 thousand rands and then in America you have two hundred and fifty dollars so if you're renting for two thousand five hundred in South Africa that means you would be renting for two hundred and fifty dollars in America apartments 2.5 South Africa if you're in a small town and you want to find a nice place that's still reasonable, you can go for that. But in big city, 2.5, you can get a place that's far away. Shh, I hear a car, I hear a car, I hear a car, I hear a car. Let's say if you work 
in South Africa and let's say you're a teacher for example and you get paid 20,000 rand in Japan I would assume you would get paid roughly 200,000 Japanese yen um, now the big question is in America are teachers making let's wait for the car do you hear it do you hear a car so the big question is do teachers in America make roughly two thousand per month do they make two thousand per month because in South Africa they make twenty thousand roughly depending on you know the grade maybe let's say primary school teacher or something maybe just round about that round about that um so two teachers maybe like primary school teachers or something make roughly two thousand dollars in america do they make roughly two hundred thousand yen Japan. So, yeah, that's the big question at hand because what you can do with this currency here, you can do with this currency there. So it's just it's plain currency. Now let's move on to the small coins. The small coins so in Japan there was this other shop and everything everything in that shop would sell for a hundred yen just bring a coin a hundred rent a hundred yen coin in Japan get everything for hundred yen and then in South Africa that means you would go to that shop and spend 10 rand, 10 rand, 10 rand. And then in America, you'd go to that shop and spend a dollar, one dollar shop. So, yeah, I don't think there's a 10 rand shop in South Africa. I've never seen one. If there is, where everything sells for 10 rand, I don't think there is. Let's move on to coins. I seriously thought I had a five rand. Okay, when it comes to coins, you have 10 cents. This is what a 10 cents coin looks like.
what's happening. I think there's someone cooking, but not anymore. Chances are you're not going to see any sweets for 10 cents. And then... And then we have 20 cents. Do you see it? If you like it, you can find sweets, for, like those small, small, tiny sweets. They do go for 20 cents each. So if you like it, you can get that one. Coins in South Africa, you know. Um, 
eating it. I'm sorry. With two rands, you can get a lollipop. If it goes for one rand, you can get two. They normally go for one rand or one rand fifty cents. So that's what you can get. So I hope you learned a thing or two about South African currency and you know what you can get. This was just a random video I thought of doing. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye, Nana.